My next guest on the show is my father, the venerable professor and musicologist Tom Wilmeth. Welcome to the show, Dad. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Yeah. Well, would you tell the folks what album we're going to review today? This is an album that came out about a year ago in the spring of 2009, but it's the latest release from the studio by Neil Young. He had a, some live stuff out, but this is Neil Young's most recent studio release, spring of 2009, called Fork in the Road. Mm-hmm. We're going to review it today. Yes, we are. We both listened to it. Yes. And do you want to go first? Or? Yeah, because I don't know as much about it. Uh, I haven't heard as much Neil Young. Uh, to just start off with, uh, Neil Young in general, I, think, I don't like his voice at all. That's fine. Any of his. And it continues on into this album. Now, at the very end, that last song he did, The Actual Fork in the Road, he does it in a lower register. And I actually like that quite a bit. That's a good point. Right. He sings that one lower. Um, so, overall... You're not real knocked out with it. No, and this album especially. Um, well, this album, um, am I cutting you off? No. Thanks. This album did not get very good reviews. Mm -hmm. It was, um, if you follow it very much, it was kind of criticized as being a bunch of kind of knocked off car songs. Mm -hmm. And I uh, picked it up um, recently, and that's why we're reviewing it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it definitely is about cars, fork in the road. Yeah, it's about the road a lot. Um, maybe I went into it with lowered expectations, but I, I liked it quite a bit. Um, now, having said that, I'm used to Neil Young's voice. I knew exactly what I was getting into on this one. Yeah, he talks a lot about cars. Um, it's interesting, he, he talks about the ecology a little bit. He talks about electric cars a little bit, but he's been doing that for quite a long time, um, off and on. If you like Neil Young, if you like Neil Young, this will not blow you away, but you will like it. It's uh, it received harsher reviews than I thought it deserved. Now this is a year later, of course. Um, what surprised me is the variety on the record. It sounds like Neil is actually working harder than some of the other more recent records. I know that Living with War was a very passionate record for Neil, but uh, there wasn't a lot of variety. I found that a very um, challenging listen. This one is. A pleasant listen not that it has a lot of ballads but he again he seems to be working at it right in the middle of the CD are two tunes one's called cough up the bucks and again that's being critical of the oil industry and um, it's kind of an odd tune it has a very much of a plodding electric feel if you know Neil Young's catalog very well it sounds like it could have shown up on trans um, and then that's followed by a tune called Get Behind the Wheel, and that's a rockabilly tune. And it sounds like it could have shown up easily on the Neil Young and the Shocking Pinks uh, record, both from about 1983. Um, the last two songs on the record, Dylan just mentioned one, but the last two also worked very well as a set piece. The second to the last tune, mm. the penultimate song, uh, is called Light a Candle. Lovely melody. Right? Did you yeah, remember that's that? That's my one? favorite song on the album. Gentle, acoustic, optimistic as far as as far as complaint instead of complaining, you know, light a candle, very much of a long time. Very nice tune. I mean it's it sounds like harvest. Um, and then the last tune is the title track. It's a hard rocking track, but he's also kind of making fun of himself just a little bit uh, along the way. Uh, it's also about changes and making decisions. He thanks his fans for hanging in there with him. That's kind of interesting. Um, again, bottom line, I would say if you if you like Neil Young, you'll like this record. It doesn't blow you away, but I, I'm looking forward to listening to it again. And part of the reason I'm going to give it the grade I am is because maybe because I had such low expectations. But it's a I think it's going to hold up well as far as his catalog. I'm giving it a solid B. Mm -hmm. um, again, it sounds like he's worked on this one, and it, it's uh, it's about a 45 minute set, and it's a very very pleasant listen. Neil mm -hmm. Young, Fork in the Road. All right, I had a. Uh... For my grade, I'd have to disagree, actually, with a little sure. bit. Um, I'd be surprised if you would have given it that high, to be honest. No, uh, I found the guitars um, quite abrasive, along with his voice. Uh, like you said, um, Light a Candle is my favorite. It's the it, only really acoustic one on there. Right, it's very distinct, and I'm kind of a sucker for that. I'll, I'm the first to admit it. Um, also, my Fork in the Robe is my second. Uh, the lower register really did it for me. And my third would be... Um, uh, fuel line. I like it's kind of like a, a blues about fuel, um, but I like the the choir, he, the choruses he has in the background. The whole idea of car is nothing new to rock and right. roll. I mean, you got the Beach Boys, and before that, I mean Springsteen. Oh, I mean not before that, but Springsteen before that, the Beach Boys, and you got cars all the way through. But this is very different as far as kind of the the a very different side of cars. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting I, I, subject matter doesn't bother me, and again. Um, 
Yeah, we disagree. What grade did you give it? I give it a C minus. That doesn't surprise me at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think a lot of people would. And again, if you're expecting, if Neil is such a varied guy, that the intense guitars I'm going to play, Dylan, some of the like live at the Fillmore East and some of these mm -hmm. screaming you know, twenty minute versions of Down by the River. Um, anyway, all right. Is that it? Yeah. All <laughs> right. Good job. Next. That's all we have time for this week, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit more unorthodox than your usual episodes. Don't worry, Eric will be back next week. I will take him out of my trunk and release the mouth gags. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, tell your friends and your enemies, anybody you can. I hope you enjoyed uh, Crazy College Kid and his family and friends' take on music. And until then, we'll see you next week to see our two ugly mugs and the cups too. Thank you.